Hi friends, today I want to show you how you can create your own chatbot with just HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now I have the script already. Uh, let me just call it front end. I have the front end already. So uh, it remains how you cannot program it so that the chatbot can be functional. So I'm going to show you how you can go about it. Here we go. Now I will send you files that are like this files. I have JS files. I have uh, HTML files. So let me start from the beginning. Now it's only one file, uh, one HTML file we have on desert. That's your main HTML file. All right. Now in this title, you can change it to any name you want. And before that, let me quickly show you how it works. You can see that it works here. So if I write I, is your reply me. Don't worry. I will show you that later. Now let me, let me go straight to the point here. Now you can change the title to your name, to any name you want. So I want to call this my chatbot. Here we go. Now you can see the script, my chatbot online. This online, that's what we have here, online. So the script is already made. You don't need to, to start learning how to start it afresh because it's very long. Uh, it's, very, it's a long process. So all you need to do now is just to download the script and then use it for your project. Okay, you can see just a short script. You can see that's all. Now we are done for the HTML aspect. You are going to have it. Don't worry. But the main work is in this JS that init the JS and the main work. So let me start from the beginning. Uh, the default we have here it means if the bot does not understand what to type. So it's going to tell you, I don't understand your question. I am sorry about that. So you can modify this change to anything you like. That means if the bot does not understand what to type. All right, now the first welcome, that means the first time of you launching the bot, it will tell you, welcome to my bot. So which means you can, they edit the text, you can change them. Now what about this, just the beep that sound like i used the uh, whatsapp sound now the second uh, welcome is i am ready to answer any question i'm ready to answer any of your question remember i'm not perfect now this is a database because i use the index db uh, let's just say offline database that web is cool. so we have it like this uh, this is the name of the database you can see the name of the database the version i use is 1.0 now create that's what we use to create the database now the function we use to delete our database uh sorry to delete table you can see drop table in case okay i will show you all this later i'm going to explain but let me quickly show you how everything works so this is the script you are going to let me just put your code let me just tell your code comes here so this is where you put your code now this is how you do, go about it. Now let us assume we have, or um, uh, let's let's say, I want to have something like this. Now let's, for example, I want to have. Uh, for for example, if I type I, you can see it says I don't understand your question. I'm sorry about that. So that means I want to program it so that it will understand what I type. So here we go. So just put if. Now the process message, that is the message you type, that was called process message. So if your process message is equal to I. Now, I will let you know that all your processed messages, all of them, they are in lowercase. You can see it here, lowercase. So anything you want to compare, must be in lowercase because your messages are all in lowercase you can see it here so you want you are comparing lowercase strings now if process msg that if process message equal to i so what will happen now you don't need to type this just now you have the script here already so what will happen you are going to have constants and then constant the msg just a variable in anything you like put there so what will be the response so the response will be here let me put response hi let's say hi how are you how are you so you can see that means the bot will reply you i how are you so this is the script you're going to use 
and I will advise you to put return at the end of every statement every response I would like you put return okay so that is it that may process message equal to if it is equal to I so the bot is going to tell us hi how are you so let's see it let me refresh and type I you can say I how are you that means that my bot understands what I meant by I so which means if I say uh, that's all for this you can copy it and paste it here if I say have, don't forget that every of your string every, everything want to compare must be in lowercase so have you eaten so let me just put yes what about you, you can see so let me now I let's start the game even if you write it in capital letter it will still understand it you can see in uppercase you write in uppercase it will still understand what you mean even in lowercase like this good now the second one we did is have you eaten let me just put have you eaten i don't understand your question i'm sorry about that now let's check the word have you have you eaten so let's see what are we have you eaten so the question mark so let us remove question mark i want to tell you that anything you are processing do not include any special characters because i have trimmed everything here you see so do not include any special characters in your comparing strings please okay so let me start again have you eaten it understands my question now. Yes. What about you? Yes. If I type yes, I don't understand because of what we have not programmed the word yes. So we are going to program like that. Okay. Now another thing is, uh, okay, what if, you know, some people, they may write, have you eaten in different ways. They may write, have you, even if they write you like this. That's number one. Number two, let's for example, I have a, let's put it in this place. Exit, dot includes. Now this one means if uh, my message or your message, if your message includes the word exit, what will happen? Okay, bye. You understand? So that means even if if you have exit like this, you tell it okay, bye. Okay. Now what what if you have long statement that now includes the word exit? So we have let, let me show you like this. How now we have our it before? Let me say I'm going home now. So exit this app. Maybe just continue. Not this way. This waves are long, but exit the word exit is found. So let me type it. You can see okay, bye. So that means the this word is found. You can see if the if this message includes the word exit, what will happen? Okay. Now what if you want to delete all messages? Let me write delete. Let's just compare this directly. So that means if I type delete, you should write your messages have been deleted. Now there's a command you are going to use to delete your message. So the command is this delete table. That is the function you are going to use. Now let's try. It. Let's try it. You can see I'm refreshing all my records are found. You can see I can even scroll up, scroll up because of what I used uh, offline database. So I don't need to connect online. So you can see what I'm using here is local. So I don't need to connect online, and everything will work perfectly. So which means this .html will convert to app. Yeah, if we can, we have many iron uh, softwares online that we can use to convert website into app. Or let me just say HTML offline HTML into app. 
So there are many websites, uh, there are many websites and there are many software online to do that. Okay. Now, let me now type the word, you can see the word delete. So let me just type delete. Your messages have been deleted. But what I need to do now is just to add after my message has been deleted, I should have something called uh, reload. So that it will reload, but this message will not be shown. So this reload of the thing, I think it should call in this form, timeouts. It should reload after two seconds. So let's check it out. You can see my message has been deleted, but the app does not reload. So let me just try. It. Let's try it again. Delete. Now delay. Reload. Good. You can see because I will. If you don't put set timeout, something will overwrite. Maybe this one will. This may not work. So that's why I need to just put set timeout. Uh, set timeout. Okay, let me try. Let me remove this set timeout and see what will happen. Delete. Good. It works. I delete. You can see it does not delete. Yes, it does not delete. So that's why we need to put it like this in this form. Even you can change this one to one second to still work. now another thing i want to show you uh, is uh maybe you want to accept like input like two questions or three fields from your users how are you going to do that let's for example i want to let me put a register just for example so let me have something like register so let's have it like this let me use this So let me put register. What is your name? What's your name? You can see. So I want to register. I just put something like I want to register. Let me register. Now what's your name? So it's requesting for my name. If I type my name, this thing should understand that it has requested for my name and what i type is meant to be my name so are you going to do it now my name is side let me put it there you can see i don't understand it doesn't understand that yeah it has asked me about my name before so this is what you're going to do you asked me my name i think you should have a session here called storage dot let me put um first name or oh, name asked equals to yes or oh, one anything just give it a value so it means the bot asked as asked the person about his or her name so after that you're going to put it at the beginning you can put it at the beginning you can put it at the beginning or you can even put it anywhere let me just put it at the top of this register so that means if the software uh, if a program has asked the person the user about his or her name you can see it here so return return means do not proceed to anywhere so just answer the question that is in between this place okay now what is my name? I entered my name. So we should have something like this. We should have something like this. After it has asked, uh, I've answered the question. So what is your last name? Is that my second question? But let me save that name. That's my first name. Let me save it. First name. 
because this place what is your name i want to save it now how, now how will you capture previous input how will you capture it you write last user message so that's how to capture it so i've captured it like that good after that you are done you are done but the only thing you need to do so that we can know that uh, the program is requesting for our last name the second input is with this you should have something like this that means the second time the second time so meaning that we should just something you, you should have something like this and this equals to one so the second one should be this and this equals to two so in this play in this case it should just tell me your first name is then my this first name the one i saved that time and your last name is this new input that i just collect so last user input the new input i just collect after the others i don't need them because that's the end i want this place to be the end and if you want maybe you want to use ajax you want to send a message to server this or that i think you are able to capture a value here you are able to capture another value here so you can send anything to to server by writing your ajax but don't worry don't forget that any code you want to write must not be after this return it must be before return it can be here and it can be here so just make sure it's not after that return but anything you put after return will not work okay so i'm able to, i will be capturing now after that you know this is the end this is the end of the message the bot is asking the user so i think the best way is to this thing the best way is to let it terminate it or destroy it so that it's not keep repeating itself so i will now destroy it Look at sales storage dot remove item. Put the name inside. That's how to destroy it. So let me now check it out and see what we have done. Let's type register. What is your name? Good. What's my name? My name is Said. Let's see. It has understood that you have typed your name. So the second question: What is your last name? My last name is Yakin. You can see? Very nice. Now your first name is Said and your last name is Yakin. Now what if I type Said again? It's more yeah. that it will not understand it because of what I have terminated the session for anything like registration. So this is how you anything you want to do pertaining to server or you want to collect multiple uh, inputs. You know, I just use two. So the techniques I use to accept two values, that is the same techniques you use to accept more than two values. Now that is all you need on this. And don't forget that uh, anything you write inside this MSG is in HTML format. So which means you can write your 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 style. You can write style inside it. Like, let me just use B. Let me start it like this. Let me just format it B. So which means it should be bold. So even if you can write style, normal style. Can see name. name. You can see that my name. That name is bold now because of B I put here. So which means if you want to write your JavaScript, uh, your CSS code there, you can see put it there. Color right so let's see how it works register Say. you guys right even if you want to put link there you can still do that so if you put link there it should take you to another place and it should be even put it to be in hyperlink so how do you do that 
now put in link let me just put any okay let's find the simple thing to okay i i so let's put the link here go here so this is where i want to put the link here href but this href just put this code there put this code there okay now after that you're going is on click you are going to use is on click uh, that means if it's on uh, if you are using uh, Cordova or let me say Funga, so you can still use normal e here. So let me just put this. Don't forget I use single quotes because of the double quotes I use there. So I use single quotes here. So let's write this way and type I. So I, I go here. Let me click here. I can see. So it loads a new website. Good. Now, if you wanted to load a new window, I know I believe you will understand that. Yeah, my target it goes to black. So this one we open it in the window. So I, okay. it opens a new window. So that's how to you can see creating the chatbot is very easy so if you want this if you want this design you can use it and if you want to change the color this color if you want to change it you can go to style.css i have it here on that css i have style.css this is style.css so if you are unable to if you don't know the name of the color you can capture it when you capture it here you find the name you can see i've captured the name of the color like that then you search for it you can see i'm able to search it okay so you want to replace let me replace uh, maybe red that's already will be this so let's replace with this then we refresh you can see so very easy to change color this is uh, my icon you can change the name when you open your html file you see my chat but you can change to any name you want so this is a simple way to create a chat body very easy very very easy so i've made everything easy for you by just creating the template for you so all you need to do is just to modify the javascript here so just to modify the javascript at the downside here so if you download don't forget just go to the video the description below you will see the uh, script link download it you see everything I've explained how you can go about it, different function I used, and their work. So very easy. And then don't forget, if your messages, let me say your messages reach like 40, so it will destroy itself. Because if your messages are long, it will be very difficult. You know, it's like offline and database are used. So it's very difficult to be scrolling down scrolling down scrolling down it will work yeah it will work everything will work perfectly but i just want to make it to be perfect for you so that's why i put it to destroy after reaching 40. so the code is here you can disable it if you don't want it uh 40 this is it so this is the counters so delete charts if charge created a record to 40. So if you don't want it, just comment it out. Even you can even destroy everything here. I have here. you can just remove it like that. So that means your message will not be destroyed. So but like this, if your message reaches 40, it will destroy itself and start from the beginning. It will clear everything for you. And stuff it will not it will not reload, don't worry, it will not reload. But it just clear everything for you. Okay, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be giving you more scripts.